That's good. So I'm currently at Mag Park Burbank, as you know. But don't forget, this Saturday is the grand opening of Mag Park OC in Buena Park. And that is also part of the All of a Sudden tour. We will be in there. It will be extra lit. Oh my god, what size are these? And then Sunday, we will be at Urban Necessities in Vegas. Probably gonna plug it one more time before the vlog ends, so just a disclaimer. Okay guys, so I'm looking around. I found a few things from the first week Supreme drop, I believe. I wasn't here, so I wasn't able to get anything. Oh man, these boards are sick too. All right, I got a few things that I'm thinking about getting. Maybe the Nas tee, the hoodie, the baseball jersey, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Did you guys hear the LV, uh, LV off-white rumor? They're saying, yeah, LV off-white. I thought they didn't, they weren't happy. Extend that arm, you know? All right guys, so I thought I was gonna leave and check out and then I saw this and I had to run back up. Ah, the LV Supreme camo jacket right here. It's had a super, super steal. So I might have to pull that. I mean, it's the best of everything that I like. The Supreme LV collab as well as camo and it's a denim jacket. Like it's not my denim jacket that goes on sale Friday, dreamcrew.com, but it is what it is. So I think I'm gonna take this. Hello? Oh, I don't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Nas T right here. I don't know who Nas is, but I thought. It, no, I'm just kidding. Of course, I know who Nas is. Um, Hate Me Now is the best. And I remember when that music video was so controversial because they were on the crosses. Him and Diddy. I honestly don't know a lot of. His no, I don't. I know his songs when they come on. You know what I mean? But I don't know the names of the damn songs. I don't know the names of half the Tupac songs either. But when they come on, you know every word to it. All right, guys, I'm passing on the Nas tea because uh, it's too expensive. <laughs> I don't want this color either. And now they won't let me buy it because I didn't know more than one Nas song. So we're going to put that to the oh, side. Will there ever be a, ever be a Kanye? Supreme Chief? Oh, they hate them they them. Really? They hate them? They do South in New York. Oh, okay. So they don't do they any West Coast. The West Coast, guy, the West Coast bro. <laughs> paper, paper boy, bro. You Fuck really bro. have this? This is a sticker? Yeah. Oh my god, paper boy. is $500 used size 10. 1994, this is over freaking 30 years old. Oh my God. And it's wearable because these are used so they won't crack on you right away probably, but where it started it, this changed the sneaker game right here. Know your roots, G, know your roots like a bald head. All right, so I'm also getting these Warriors shorts from the 09 season. I'm getting quite a few things here. I need to do an updated Supreme collection because I've stacked over up since my last one, bro. Successful trip to Mag Park. It's always fun coming back. What? You got a fake? Let me see. No way. We just got some interesting news, guys. <laughs> interesting intel. Yeah, they made every Jordan 11 is one of the most, oh, wait, look. most fake shoes. What size is that gamble? 11. Right. But the tag, they make fake tags now or no? Nah. These are their new tags. They replaced yeah, no, them because they're square ones. But the circle ones too? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, look at the stickers, not even a square. It's a fake, guys. Listen, I'm not here to expose anybody, but I mean, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I just don't want people to get took. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, there you have it. Disclaimer, I am not signed or sponsored by GOAT. I'm just, I'm, I'm just a vlogger. I'm just a YouTube sneaker vlogger. So I had about 20 more minutes of footage that I was going to add to this vlog, but I wanted to cut it out because I wanted to touch on what we just saw. Basically, while I was editing, I was having second thoughts of including 
the footage of somebody bringing those fake Jordan 11s to Mag Park. The reason why I was thinking about not putting it in the vlog is just because I'm not here to try to make enemies. I'm not here to have people hate me or anything like that. But at the end of the day, as a vlogger and someone who's a sneakerhead, I put myself in the same positions as you guys. So this could have happened to any one of you guys. That's why I feel like I should do this because I want you guys to know that even a trusted website like StockX, there's a chance that you could end up with a pair of fakes. And maybe 99.9% .9 of the time, it's gonna be 100% authentic. That's what they are known for, is they legit check a sneaker so that you don't have to worry about getting fakes or getting scammed. Same thing with the GOAT app. If those if those sites right there can still have flaws in them, if, those, if they can still approve fakes, then that just shows you that it could happen anywhere. So my suggestion is for you guys to be extra careful. Make sure you still take that shoe to someone who knows sneakers to double check that shoe for you to make sure that you are getting your money's worth. Now, to touch back on what we saw, that shoe, that Jordan 11 Gamma was a thousand percent fake. Jamie checked it, Steven checked it, and there was a lot of flaws to it. There were a lot of things that were off. It was a hundred percent fake. Stock X, when they authenticate a shoe, they attach that little green tag to it. They used to have a square tag that was like this shape, but people started making fake ones of those, so they replaced them with the little round ones. And when it comes to those little tags, once StockX puts it on the shoe, there's no way of taking it off and putting it on another shoe unless you actually cut it. That one, I checked it, it was it was on there as if it was the first time it would, was ever on a sneaker, so it wasn't like somebody cut it off and glued it back, or it wasn't like, it's something that you, it's removable. It's, it's literally stuck on that shoe to let you know that it is 100% authentic again i don't know if that shoe even came from stock x maybe someone made a fake tag and put it on their shoe to trick people to try to sell it and people will trust it because it says stock x so i don't even know if stock stock x is at fault you might not even buy the shoe from stock x you might buy the shoe from ebay but it has that stock x tag on it because they want to trick you and make you think that that shoe was authenticated by stock x they might be tricking you to to make you feel like you can trust that eBay seller. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just about stock X getting exposed for selling a fake. It's about that tag being not 100% trustworthy. So to anybody at stock X who's watching this, I am not here to expose you guys or take shots or try to make you guys look bad. Okay. I think I said everything I want to say. I hope I made myself clear. If I don't do it, then who else is going to do it? Who else is going to let you guys know that you can't really trust a little green thing on your shoe. Of course, I'm gonna end the vlog with a, a little promotion. I will be doing the pop-up this Saturday as part of the All of a Sudden Tour in OC as the Mag Park. It is the grand opening of Mag Park OC this Saturday, and we are having our All of a Sudden Tour pop-up presented by Crep Protect at Mag Park OC grand opening on Saturday. So make sure you guys come. And then Sunday, we will be in Vegas at Urban Necessities with my dude JC. So OC and Vegas, I better see you guys this weekend. We will have merch for sale. And everybody else that can't come, dreamcrew.com this friday online drop 6 p.m if you are new to this channel please guys subscribe because we are on the road to 1 million subscribers my goal is to reach 1 million subscribers by the end of september and i know that sounds kind of crazy but if every one of you guys who watches my video actually subscribe then we can make this happen so please dream crew subscribe i'm out of here i love you guys did i did i mention that it's 6 freaking a.m right now and i haven't slept i'm still on australian time